What's up, mofo? So welcome back. Okay, now welcome back to my channel. Oh, welcome back. Okay, now welcome back to my channel. Oh. just yet you make sure to like and subscribe okay so you can join the mofro team so today i am going to be trying out passion twists on myself okay it's going to be my first time doing them as well as my first time getting them so i'm pretty excited to see how this comes out as you can see i did blow dry my hair which i'm going to be doing a different tutorial on because it is my first time blow drying my hair since I went natural over a year ago. So that was a very fun experience. Scary, but fine. So I'll be showing y'all those deets coming in my next video. So make sure to look out for it. So we're gonna go ahead and just knock it on out. As you can see, I started without you. <laughs> Because I didn't want to force y'all to watch that entire video of me doing this, okay? Because it was a lot of trial and error at first. But we think we have a grip on what we're doing now. So this is where we are so far. And I haven't cut the ends or anything like that so that I can go ahead and start making it uniform. I wanted to wait until the end so that they could all be one land thin together. So as you can see, I didn't do like long passion twists. I decided to do like a cute little short bob kind of style. Didn't want it too long and it's getting into the hotter months now too. So I didn't have to want to worry about having all this hair all over me. So that is that. So let me show y'all what I've been doing. Oh my gosh. I strongly recommend if you do not have time, do not start this process because it is definitely a long process it is tedious especially if you're somebody starting up like me i had no idea what i was doing so i had to sort of play with it figure out things and go about it from there so i'm going to show y'all those tricks and tips that i figured out so i'm using the free trust braid jazz water um i ordered it off of amazon it was one that looked pretty good in pictures so we just went from there but the hair is pretty nice overall too so i mean not that they played me or anything the hair is pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and part now so excuse me okay so i'm now parted all right i'm not one of those people who are perfect at parting and i'm not even gonna attempt to be because uh, then i'll get very frustrated <laughs> i am a perfectionist so i have to go into this knowing that it's not gonna be perfect i decided to do mine a little bit different than people i have seen doing them um because that was weird um because i just thought it would be a little fun so what i'm doing is sort of like you know how you see those um, um what are they called what are they called um uh, i forgot what the braids are called i'm leaving when i go in and i'll show you how i do it i'm leaving like a little strand of the curl out just so i can give it a little bounce while it's in there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go in into this. You're gonna take your piece of hair and cut it in half, okay? After I cut it in half, I take the middle, hold on to the middle, and stretch the next side so it gives it that little more natural bounce. Stretch the next side. And then I take the other strand and I pull that one. So it elongates it just a tad bit, but it still gives that fuzzy look. Pull that again, pull that again, sit that there, and there you go. That's how this is gonna look. Hot mess, but don't you worry, it's gonna get there, okay? So that's how the hair would be. So I'm gonna go through with a little bit of moisture so that my hair isn't all dry under here. Putting some shea butter, combing it through my hair. Okay, 
Now that's that, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and part this. So I went ahead and parted that section into three. Now I'm going to be going in with my Black Panther gel to you know get it all nice and fancy i'm going to be leaving my rim of my hair for last because that's obviously the area where like i lay my edges and things like that so i'm going to go ahead and lay my edges prior to doing the twist for those ones so i just want to leave that for last so i can get everything else taken care of so i put a little bit of the black panther gel on my hand put it around my hair get it all in there then i'm going to use my rat tail comb Ooh, it's dirty rat tail comb <laughs> and comb it through so it's nice and distributed and I'm not using the rubber band method because I just have a fear of rubber bands in my hair I don't want them to break off any of my hair so I'm just gonna be doing the braiding method hence why I blue dry my hair <laughs> so it could be elongated in order to do this and then I'm gonna go ahead and braid that down about halfway so I'll let you see that and you just want to be careful. Um, what I like to do is always just check around, make sure no other hairs are coming in because you don't want to be snagging your hair or pulling in different sections into the necks. Because if you try to put your hair up or anything like that, it'll start pulling and that's very uncomfortable. So we don't want that. And there we are. So you have that about half, maybe a quarter of the way down. So then I take that piece that we just stripped and made fuzzy. Okay, so make sure it's all nice and neat. There we are. Well, not neat, but you get the point. Whoop. Where's my little crochet? There's nothing to do. So now we have that piece that we already made fuzzy. We're gonna take our crochet hook. I got this at my local beauty supply when they were open. <laughs> so you might be able to order one on Amazon or something. Um, you're gonna go get that braid that you had there. You're going to go in, lock the hair on top, pull down the latch, hold on to one side and the braid, and pull the other. And sometimes it gets caught. Once again, it's synthetic hair, so just be careful. And then make sure it's even. Make sure it's the lengths are even, so you can see there. And then go in and braid one more time. So I braid the top, braid it, braid, braid. Like I said, still going around and making sure nothing is getting caught inside this one as well. Braid, braid, and I do, a, again, I braid this down about another quarter of the way. Okay. And then I get my hair, I get some more of the gel, my real hair right here, I put that on there, use my rat toe comb again. There we go. Then I break my hair into half and twist, twist, push, twist. I like to twist it and then also twist. And then just twist the braid so you're not pulling your hair. So twist and then twist again. Twist, twist, twist in the opposing direction. And then I just do that all the way down. Do that till I get to the end. Twist, twist, boom. Here we go, all the way. And then I'll tell y'all when to stop so we get all the way down there. Twist, twist. And don't forget to twist it also in the opposing direction at the top. Twist 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 okay and then I grab the longer pieces that sometimes get strangled in there grab one of those and then I twist it around the end good okay twist it around the end twist it around the end I do that for a couple, I guess you can say seconds, just keep twisting it around it. And then I let go, grab my scissors, and I cut. Okay. And like I said, at the end, I'm gonna go back through and make sure all the length is right. But yeah, and that's how that would be. See, my hair is completely in it. 
nice and bouncy still, and you got the little curl at the end. So now we're gonna go on to the next one. Going back in with my Black Panther. And you want to make sure you don't braid it too close to your scalp because you want to leave room for the crochet hook to go through. So just be mindful of that. has definitely helped me with as much hair as I'm using too so I've been able to get through less packs of hair than I expected I was going to once again the process in general is very very long I did not expect it to be that long but you know I mean I guess it makes sense it's my first time actually like doing a style like this on my own head so I mean it makes sense I'm trying it out and things like that so I'm assuming next time it should be a lot easier and a lot simpler for myself I go back there Put it on there and pull it through. Okay. Pull it through and braid it in again. Braid it in. And this time I'm going to show you what I mean by leaving a piece of the hair out. So I'm going to grab a little piece of this curl. Put that on. Okay. And continue to braid down. You can let it go once you get a good grip on the rest of the hair. Make sure it's out of the way though. And then the same method still. So you're gonna pull out your hair, put a little bit of the gel on there. So I feel like this makes it easier to hide so that it's not, you know, fuzzing through the other hair. And then start twisting again. Twist, twist. Twisty, twisty, twist, oh, twist, ah, oh, twist. <laughs> twist it. And you're gonna continue to twist in the opposing direction as well. Don't forget that step. I feel like that definitely helped me. When I didn't do it at first, I would let go of it and then it would start unraveling, which I didn't like. So I guess this sort of helps it <laughs> already know like, oh, this is where we're gonna stay, forms it more. So there we go. Twist, twist, twist. And then don't forget again to get a little piece from the longer strand and wrap it around. Wrap it around there. Do it a couple of times. Okay. And then it has like that little bounce in there too, you see? So I'm gonna go ahead and just let you guys observe from here on out, and then I'll start talking again when I'm almost at the end. <laughs> y'all so I went ahead and did the left hand side of my hair I'm gonna go on in on my right side and I'll come back when it's time to do the edges part so we can finish that up together um, and get to this finished product 
as of now, I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna stay with my fingers crossed and hope that this turns out good. See y'all in a second. Okay, so edges have been made. And this is what we have left so far. Thank God, I'm so ready to be finished with this. Um, and I'm excited to see how it turns out because I'm gonna be damned if I spent all this time and it is not even cute. <laughs> but here we go. We're gonna do this part now. my first time I am very excited about this outcome for sure I went back through and made sure everything was on the same length um pretty much just went and cut made everything into it it was pretty cool the way I was doing the hair it automatically gave it these natural layers so it looks so full and voluptuous I'm so happy with this this is for sure another go-to for my protective styles for sure. Put a little lip gloss on, a little mascara. It's a cute little wake up and go. It is. I'm loving it because y'all seen, I was a little nervous at first. Things were not adding up. But what I did do, I think what the trick was, after I got to the end, I went ahead and added like a little bit of water and some mousse so that I can have like that really nice curl to it. And then I also did that for those little pieces that I left out. Somewhere in there, there it is. Like you see those? So they're nice and defined, but honey, <laughs> I love it. My only fear is how long it's going to last since they are twists. I feel like I took the accurate precautions in order to get it to stay, but I'm nervous that they might unravel. So I will definitely be doing an update soon. So just make sure to look out for that video. But other than that, what y'all think? What y'all thinking about this? This a look? This a look for me? Mofros, tell me what your girl's looking like. Is she looking good? Is she looking crazy? Tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> well, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this on up. Thank you so much for checking me out again. I really appreciate you. If you haven't already, you be sure to like and subscribe to your girl, okay? Cause we out here, we out here doing the damn thing. <laughs> Y'all let me know down in the comments if you decide to try this look and maybe if there's different techniques that you used. Um, other than that, bye.